Hey everybody, Steve here, and today I'm reviewing the Ryobi 18 volt line trimmer, otherwise known as a weed wagger. Alright, let's get started. Included with the uh, line trimmer is this charger right here and that battery. Okay, uh, it's pretty self explanatory. You take the battery, you put it into the charger, you lock it in and you plug the charger in. Red light up will go on that shows you had power and now you can see a solid green. That means it's fully charged and uh, when I first plugged the battery in um, it, it, it didn't take very long to charge it. Um, I don't know if it was pre-charged or not but it was charged up real quick to a solid green. When it's solid green you're good to go unplug it and there's these two uh, buttons on the side you squeeze in and you pull out and these two buttons as you can see right there all right there's just a tiny bit of assembly you have to do with this first you install the handle take that bolt out put the handle in put the bolt back in and tighten it up. And this handle is adjustable. You know, it'll loosen it up and you know you can set it where you want it. So that's a nice feature. Um, the handle there's no cushion to it. You know, it's basically just plastic. But you know, not too bad. Okay, the next thing you have to do is install the grass deflector. And this is where I give Ryobi its first strike. Now, if you notice, there's these little plastic nubs right here. Okay. And the grass deflector sits right on them like that. And then take a screw, right? And you screw them in. Now the problem that I have is those little green nubs aren't threaded. So that's as far, I don't know if you could see, that's as far as the screw goes in. You can't get the screw all the way in. If I force it, I'll probably end up stripping the screw. But, I don't know if you could see this, but I'm turning the screw, and I could get maybe two, three turns, and that's about as far as I could get it. Of course, like anybody else, I think I'm doing something wrong, and I consult the directions, but that's not the case. Those little plastic nubs, in my opinion, should be threaded. So if you get this, I don't know, maybe, maybe mine wasn't manufactured right, I don't know, but uh, those little nubs were not threaded. And in my view, you should never have to force anything. And as you can see there, that's as far as it's going. So that's a... Uh, first strike I give it. Okay, the line trimmer comes with a uh, spool and a line already inside. But uh, let's have a look. Here's the uh, ret retainer. And you see uh, a little white button there and a little white button there. And to get that off, you have to squeeze the button get that out so now you got that out and here is the spool in the line okay it's a small spool and doesn't hold a lot of line but um, they also make uh, replacements I think I bought uh, I think I got three or four of them for about 18 bucks so if you ever run out you could just 
pop pop the old one out and pop a new one in. So once you got that back in, you put the retainer back on, and then you're pretty much good to go. You can make some adjustments for the height of the trimmer. It has a uh, telescoping handle. You turn that counterclockwise and then it pulls out. And to tighten it back up, you just turn it clockwise. Alright, you could uh, trim an edge with this. Right now, as you can see here, it's set to trim. And that's how you would trim. And if we want to edge, we pull this out and we turn it to where it says edge. Now you could edge. All right, now I'm going to put the battery in. It's pretty much self explanatory. You just put it in, you snap it shut, and there is no on off switch. So you just squeeze the trigger and away you go. Okay, well, here's my opinion on the Ryobi line trimmer. Forgive the sweaty appearance, but at least you know I've been using it. Um, first off, it's not nearly as noisy as a gas trimmer or uh, an electric trimmer, which is a good thing. It's not nearly as powerful either. So if you're looking for power, you might want to reconsider something else. Uh, as I got into the taller grass, you could hear it labor a little bit. But um, it did the job. The battery lasted me about 30 minutes. Um, it was nice uh, not having to pull a cord around or be bothered with gas. So that's a plus. And uh, one of the pluses to not having as much power is if you have a gravel driveway like I do, you really don't have to worry about the stones being kicked up and doing damage to the siding or anything like that. So uh, there you have it. If you want something more powerful, uh, maybe a higher voltage if you're looking for a cordless. Um, but uh, I ran this thing for about a half hour, as I said, and it uh, did the job. It got, did what it had to do. Um, I'll periodically put in um, description above over the coming weeks if I still think it's good or whether I recommend it or not. But for a first shot, it went very well. That's it for now. See you next time.